Hi everyone, my name is Electric Donkey and welcome back to another Game Maker tutorial. Uh, so today we're back on the uh, sandbox, a little short thing that we're doing. Um, so let's uh, boot up the game and just let's go and see what we can find uh, and delve into. I uh, can't quite remember what I said I'd do in the last video. It might have been the inventory stuff, I'm not quite sure. Um, but we'll have a look um, just really quickly on our game that we've got and uh, see which bits we like to pick out and have a look at. Uh, so when it loads up, it takes a while to load up. Um, so what should we do? We've done the food, we've done the hearts. The enemies seem to be broken. Um, what else could we do? I went through the lighting before I believe in the actual sandbox uh, series so what we could do is the slots yeah so as you can see they're kind of slots so if I mine something here I can scroll between them so if I try and place down nothing nothing happens but if I scroll over to that I can place it down uh, so yeah let's go and have a look at that uh, be something different have a look at uh, so if we go to object draw slots I think put it in um, so we've got a few variables we made here so we've just got slots so the amount of slots we've got which is seven scroll and then on. Uh, not quite sure what these two are. Uh, but I'm sure we'll find out as we go along. Because a lot of this code I've wrote a long time ago forgotten. So in the step event, we have some scrolling stuff. If Ah, so what this does is it sees if we've got our pickaxe out. So it's saying if the slot and then oh, the, so the scroll is the one we're on at the minute, I believe. So if the slot we have at the minute is an ID of 6, then that's our pickaxe. We want to divide the mining speed by 10. So that's what that is. Uh, placing the block. This is just a long complicated bit of placing the block but basically all we're saying is place down whatever block we have in our slot at the minute um, not gonna really go into that loads but that just basically places down the block really uh, easily um, how about the scrolling because that's quite interesting uh, so obviously what I've done here is I've just increased the scroll by one each time and then said that if it equals the amount of slots it sets back to zero because it's on the mouse wheel up and then on the down it's kind of uh, opposite just like that so uh, that's relatively simple there uh, then finally we have the draw GUI and this will just draw it all together and um, so here's where the on comes in um, not quite sure what the on does Ah, well, I know what it is. It's saying whichever one we're on, I believe. Mm. So what we're saying is we're scrolling through all the available slots and we're saying if the one we've scrolled on, so the one we've kind of landed on, is equal to the one that we've looped through, then we're going to toggle this on uh, script thing or in fact we're going to set it to one and then otherwise we're going to set it to zero uh, and then what we're seeing here is we're just uh, taking our inventory searching through the inventory for the item we've got in our slots and seeing if it's if it's more than one uh, and if it is we're going to set it to zero um, 
I really can't remember how that works. Um, it's probably to do with the inventory. I, again, I wrote it quite a while ago, but I'm explaining the best I can. Um, so here what we're doing is we're just drawing our sprites. And then this is on. This is the sub-image. Um, so each... If I'll show you really quickly. Each sprite that I've got going has... So let's take the Eromium, for example. Has two images. So it has one with a black outline and then one with a white outline. Uh, and that's how I make the the slots. Uh, and then obviously I've got an empty one. And it works quite smoothly that way. Uh, so we'll just find this again. So what all that's doing is it's finding the sprite we need to draw and then drawing it. And it's drawing a little circle in the corner and all the fancy stuff like that. And then it's drawing a number in the circle. Um, but really it's it's nothing really too fancy and um, I'd recommend putting that in your game if you're thinking about doing something like that because it is quite simple to do I will help you out if you need any help doing it I might do a little mini tutorial type thing actually explaining that in more depth um, but if if that's something you want to do or you want to add in just uh, specific help um, put it in the comments or general help um, well actually specific help you send me an email or something uh, and then general help if you put in the comments um, and general help I might turn into a video if, if need be um, so if you enjoyed this uh, little video type thing uh, remember to like, subscribe or just do whatever you guys do and uh, I will talk to you later